Sam from Tool Hut here today. Tool Hut has all of your diagnostics equipment needs. We offer training and support of all of the equipment that we carry. Today's subject is a BMW programming using a J2534 interface. A uh, couple things you're going to need. You need a J2534 interface, obviously. You're going to need a stable power supply. BMW recommends a 100 amp stable power supply. I suggest you set it at about 14.2 volts, 14.4 volts if you can. You need stable, high speed internet. This whole program takes place over the internet. Uh, you're going to need time. All I can tell you is lots of time. The PC has to have some settings changed on it you want to make sure that it never shuts down you also want it plugged in do not attempt this with just the battery and I do highly recommend a cooler pad for your laptop the laptop is going to run during this whole process so we want to make sure it doesn't burn up couple of things never program any BMW or mini vehicle that ha that wants you to program infotainment modules with J2534 only do these with an ICOM next or an ICOM uh, failure rate on these modules is super high do not do them with J2534 I can't stress that enough some vehicles require you to program all of the modules on the vehicle or update any modules that are out of date which means that some of these vehicles can take several days to complete there's no real way to know how long it's going to take to do this with if you don't have experience sometimes you can select the modules that you're that you want to program this happens to be the case today uh, so I'm got, I've gotten lucky on this one. So I'm, the one I'm doing today, I've been able to select just a couple of modules. Uh, it does force me to do an update on a couple of modules, but nothing big. Uh, this whole process on this particular BMW takes just over an hour from start to finish. Uh, and it's one of the faster BMWs that I've done. The first thing you need to do is log in to your BMW Tech Info account. Once you've logged in to your BMW Tech Info account, you have a couple of disclaimers you have to take care of. Then you're going to go up to OSS, Vehicle Programming, and ISTA P. You're going to have to wait on this page for the job to load. I ask you to run it sometimes uh, the start button is kind of the key here uh, and then you're going to get this launcher that starts uh, I did not speed up this process I wanted to just see how long it takes for the launcher to work uh, sometimes it's pretty fast uh, the first time this launcher ever loads uh, is probably the time it takes the longest it has to do the complete installation the installation is probably five or six minutes, I would say, the first time. But once it's been done, it goes uh, fairly quickly. Uh, as you'll see, there's nothing fast about this process. So once we've got the launcher to work, we're going to get this created new session as we want to go. And then ISTA P server automatically it's going to uh, find your interface so you're going to click on your interface and hit connect and then it's going to start a identification of the vehicle process I did speed this process up drastically I did there is modules that were replaced in this vehicle this page I cannot st stress enough make sure you exclude the components 
Now they replaced the RDC and the combi or the cluster and TPMS module in this vehicle. I didn't diagnose it just like a lot of my videos I'm just here to finish the process for them. Once it's done the identification you need to determine a measures plan don't have a whole lot of choices here you can accept the measures plan or you can go back um, if you go back there's not a whole lot you can do so accept the measures plan is pretty much your only choice you'll see that um, the coding of the combi in the RDC is uh, what they're going to do it's also going to update the cast module and the footwell module which is very typical of BMW it's going to download the files for the programming now again all of this has been sped up so uh, please don't hook up to a car and expect it to happen this fast uh, because it's tire pressure monitor been replaced there's some stuff you need to do you need to make sure the tires are properly filled and here it tells you to turn off the ignition it does program the cast module with the key off but I like to go to the action list screen and watch the action list screen. It gives you a percentage of uh, where you're at in the process. It gives you an idea how long stuff's going to take. Like I said before, this vehicle in particular did not take that long. Uh, it took about an hour start to finish. And it just got a whole list of things it's going to do here now. When you get down towards the end of it, it is going to open and close the windows and it wants the doors closed. So make sure that your cable is not run someplace where it can get pinched in the in the window. And make sure you're not in it. There is a warning that comes up. I don't know that uh, the warning got saved here, but uh, there's a warning that uh, you can get trapped in the car. I don't understand what that's all about. It's probably just a legal disclaimer of all things. Um, I typically shut the cables in the in the jam between the uh, by the front of the door there, so the cables don't get pinched. And then there's a whole lot of waiting, turn keys on, turn key off type stuff. It will recalculate the measures plan again. Uh, and then you continually get these warnings about the TPMS. Uh, the vehicle does need to be driven if you did something with the TPMS. Uh, and that's pretty much it, folks. Uh, not a real fast process. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more programming videos. Give a thumbs up, thumbs down. Hit the bell if you want to be notified. Uh, have a great day.